Hello there, it's Caitlin and welcome back to the AFI How To Lab. I love wax melts. They're so easy to make and even easier to use. So I have them all over my house. The best part about wax melts is that you can use all kinds of glitter and embeds in them because you don't have to worry about clogging a wick. Wax melts are wickless after all. Let me show you how I make these glitter bomb wax melts. So for this how-to, you're gonna need a mini ice cube tray or any kind of mold with cavities small enough to make embeds that will fit into your clamshell mold. As you can see, the little cube shapes in this mold are tiny, making them perfect to make embeds for our regular size clamshells, these guys. I'm starting off by making my embeds. For every component of these melts, I'll be using a Pro Blend 600 Parasoy Wax. It's super smooth and somewhat sticky, which will make it perfect for what I'll be doing with the embeds. So start by melting down about an ounce of wax. You don't need a whole lot of it. Heat it up over a double boiler until it's completely liquid and then remove it from the heat. Okay, so now that I have my wax completely melted, I'm gonna remove it from the heat. So I want to bring the temperature down to about 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ideal to add our fragrance for maximum throw. And you can add any fragrance that you'd like, but I'm partial to our blue ocean water scent. Stir for at least a minute and then you can add your colorant. I'm going to be using some blue dye chips to match our fragrance. Give it a stir until the dye chips melt into the rest of the wax. One last final touch, the glitter. You can use just about any kind of glitter that you want for this step, but I'm using a little bit of mica mixed with craft glitter for a super sparkly pop. Stir the glitter in well, and now we can pour the embeds. Just fill as many mold cavities as you can with the wax. As you can see here, I just pour it right in the middle and I let the wax just spread out on its own. Okay, so once these are cooling, I can set these aside and grab the clamshell molds. These are gonna form the majority of our wax melts. Repeat the previous steps of melting down half of the remaining wax and adding fragrance, but this time, don't add color or glitter. Once the wax is cool enough to pour, fill up each clamshell cavity about halfway. We need to leave some space to place in our embeds. Okay, so now I'm gonna let these cool and we're gonna return to our embeds. Okay, so they've cooled completely. I put them in the freezer for a minute and now I'm gonna pop them out. You just kind of break it just like an ice cube. Aw, aren't these super pretty? So once our clamshell cavities are cool, we can place an embed into each one of the cavities. So now that we have the embeds in our cavities, we're gonna melt down the other half of our wax and add fragrance. And then we're gonna pour it at a slightly cooler temperature than we did the first time. This will help keep our embeds from melting and spoiling the surprise. Awesome, so I'm just gonna let this last layer cool and then they'll be done. Okay, so I know these don't look like much now, but when you place them into a wax warmer, they will reveal their sparkly insides. These melts are so much fun to make with all kinds of custom colors and scents. Each two ounce clamshell mold costs about $2 to make, meaning they can be sold wholesale three to $5 and retail six to $8. I hope this video taught you a fun new technique for making wax melts. Let us know in the comments below if you end up making some of these yourself and tag us in your socials with your creations. We love to see your work. As always, I'm Caitlin and I'll catch you in the next how-to. Bye for now.